parable of the shrewd manager in Luke chapter 16 is a strange one. You know, it, it seems like Jesus is saying that the master, uh, who, you know, is usually God in these stories, um, who's demanding an accounting of his possessions, the stewardship of the things that have been entrusted to Israel, as Jesus is coming and speaking to the people of Israel, they haven't been stewarding his, um, his covenant, the land that he's given them, all of that very well, and they're about to come to a day of judgment. And Jesus is warning them through the parable that, uh, you know, while there's time, be smart about this, you know. Again, this theme of repentance is gonna go all the way through up to the cross as he marches his way toward Jerusalem and continues to warn them to weep over the city, to um, talk about the things that are going to happen because they have been bad stewards of all that God's given them. And, uh, and then it leads them into this discussion of just saying, you know, you can't serve two masters. You got to decide who you're going to serve. If you're going to serve God, serve God. If you're going to serve money and accumulation and stuff, then do that. Um, you got to make a choice. And at least if you're serving God and being generous, people will welcome you into their their homes, people will love you because you've been generous with them and you have been generous with God and with people. And it's good advice for us, um, but it was really specific advice for the people of that day. And my question that I wonder about is where today uh, am I being, how am I being a steward of all that God's entrusted to me? And how can I leverage the things that God's entrusted to me to make friends and to bless others in a way that uh, um, that makes them welcome me in the day of trouble. Um, you know, that is a question for people. It's a question for nations. It's a question for families. Something to think about today. Enjoy.